being can, can you can you, can you look at me in the eyes, like take your shades off, and say to me that at that time it was good for Mohammed to have sex with a nine-year-old? At that time it was acceptable. According no, to no, 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 good, because Mohammed is the good. Pro good. Mohammed is the prophet of example for the Ummah. Well, yeah. It so it's permissible, yes. He never sinned, yes. He never sinned. Good, yeah. Right. So it was good at that time for Mohammed to have sex with a nine-year-old. Yeah. In the Proto Evangelion of Thomas, that's where we get that information from. So you will have to reject that infancy gospel if you want to say that Mary had sex. But you also therefore reject the claim that she was 12, because that's where you find it. See, you're stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Find me where it says Mary is 12 in any other source. In fact, that reminds me of when it says that Jesus called a little girl who was 12. Yes, I believe that's in Mark 5. Jesus called a 12 year old a little girl. And he also said, and I believe in Matthew, I think 16, he and said that anyone who touches one of the little ones it is better for him to tie a rope around, uh, a millstone around his neck and yeah. throw him into the ocean. And also, we never find any clue from the Bible mm. that Mary was playing with the doll. Exactly, exactly. Never said that. But if pedophiles should, so should, should, should be hanged. Aisha was playing with the doll. No, pedophiles should be hanged. Should be hanged then according to the law. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Y
I never said that. I never said I believed she was 18. I said I don't know. My argument is I don't know how old. My argument was I don't know how old Mary was when she had sex. If she did, if she did, she conceived through the spirit and not through physical intercourse. Yeah. Oh. Can you get that camera and bring it, bring it over here? I got my. Yeah, yeah. Today, yeah. Hi. I don't know, can you interview about the end time prophecies? Or... I'm probably not the expert on that, on that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. Eschatology is not my, is not my forte. Yeah. Um, I focus on the central tenets of Christianity yeah, at the moment. Just comparison between... So you're my, oh, yes. I didn't even know you put it on me. I, I, you. I don't even know these things, man. I don't even know. You can come up to me and I like, just put lots of stuff on me and I have no, no idea. Comparison between um, the Muslims end time prophecy Christianity and Christianity, you know what I mean? Okay. That's the, that's I, I would humbly encourage you to ask someone who is of more knowledge than I am. But you did a good job, mate, you know? Thank you very yeah, much, You're man. my channel, man. Check it out, yeah? What, what's your channel? Uh, Kingdom, Spe Kingdom Speakers. Kingdom Speakers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Alright, yeah. I'll, I'll keep that in mind and I'll subscribe to it. Yeah, Thank point. you very much for that. Can you find your phone if you want? Or... Uh, the same, my phone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> your phone. Um, oh, let me do a wrap-up oh, and then I'll yes, add it on. Yeah. on, on there you go, sir. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> right, so I had a chat with a Muslim named Ben. He he wanted to defend Islam and he wanted to defend the character of Muhammad. He wanted to defend the character of Muhammad. But I pointed out to him that according to his Quran, in Surah 33, Ayah 21, Muhammad is the example for that Ummah. And because Muhammad is the example for the Ummah, that doesn't just include back then, it includes today. So if Muhammad is the example for the Ummah today, then what Muhammad did therefore must be permissible to all of that Ummah, because Muhammad did not sin. So if Muhammad did not sin and he had sex according to Sunnah Hadith with Aisha, then it's permitted for Muslims. And I think that is a tragedy. It is a tragedy because anyone with common sense knows that that's immoral. Anyone with common sense knows that that's not good. I call Muslims, my brothers in humanity, to come to Jesus Christ, the way, the truth and the life, the better way, the supreme way, the truth. The one who said that a 12-year-old was a little girl, not a woman. The one that said that if you dare hurt the little ones, it is better that you tie a millstone around your neck and you throw yourself off a cliff into the ocean. Thank you. God bless.